Hello, today is my first ever plant-based video. That is not to say that I'm plant-based, but the video is. I took a straw poll of the office on what the topic should be, and we all agreed we should start with the big picture, and that big picture is biophilia. So today's video is answering the question, what is biophilia? I had assumed that it was just liking plants, more specifically, bringing those plants indoors. It's actually defined a little bit differently. The biophilia hypothesis suggests that humans possess an innate tendency to seek connections with nature and other forms of life. Edward O. Wilson, an eminent biologist, introduced and popularized the hypothesis in his book, Biophilia. He defines biophilia as the urge to affiliate with other forms of life. So there you have it. Biophilia is defined as the urge to affiliate with other forms of life. What then? about biophilic design. This is where it gets a bit more plant-based and also a bit more complex. Biophilic design is a concept used within the building industry to increase occupant connectivity to the natural environment through the use of direct nature and indirect nature. Examples of direct biophilic design are sunlight, air, water, plants, animals, weather, and natural landscapes. Examples of indirect biophilic design are images of nature, natural material, natural colors, naturalistic shapes and forms, natural geometries, and biomimicries. Both direct and indirect biophilic designs offer major benefits, and the choice between them, or the decision to use both, usually depend on your goals, budget, and the physical limitations of the space. Indirect biophilic design can substitute for direct design when using the real element is impractical. However, indirect biophilic design doesn't have all the benefits of direct. That having been said, it's better than nothing. Indirect is also helpful to create an extra layer of depth when your designs already include direct biophilic design. So the best designs make use of both. Hopefully that's given you an overview of what biophilia and biophilic design really are. I'll be back next week to dive further into the topic. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.